Hey everyone, Zach Mason here. Welcome back to my channel. I am the author of Revelation Unfolding, a few other books. I'm also the director of Path to Hope Ministries. Uh, as a, I'm privileged to be the director of that. Thank God that he's allowed me to be a part of what Path to Hope is doing. And uh, our mission at Path to Hope is to mobilize believers to help them impact community for Christ. Now on this channel, we talk about biblical prophecy, current events, and how God is speaking to us today through dreams and visions and even prophetic words. As I've analyzed all the way, all the, the dreams and visions God has been giving to average everyday Christians, and I've pieced them together, I've been talking about that a lot on this channel, uh, trying to put these puzzle pieces together, and I've laid out what I understand to be the sequence of events for America, what we can expect to be happening in our country. And when it comes to the judgments that we expect to begin, the first one is an apparent financial shaking, a very severe financial shaking. And everything we've seen shows that it's going to be this sudden um, change. Well, I also recently did a video, which I'm posting in the description of this one, a link to it in the description of this video, of why I think uh, You Be Ready, a YouTube channel by a guy named Byron Searle. He calls his channel You Be Ready why I believe he is hearing from God. And many of you have confirmed after surveying his channel that you also believe he is correctly relaying words of Jesus to us and sometimes the Father. In uh, 2017, November 30th of 2017, he received a word from Jesus uh, called Crass Dive. He released it because he didn't start his YouTube channel until the middle of 2022. So he released this word very early in his YouTube channel in June, I think it was June 14th of 2022. And that's an important date because we're going to see that a secular news site confirmed what he said a few months later. But here is, uh, here's what he said. I'm going to go ahead and play. This, is a, this message is about the expected economic crash that we think is going to be the first event that changes everything. Okay, here is what he had to say. And this was the word that I, I received. It says, my son, this nation is in a dive, a crash dive. An impact will be shocking and sudden. This crash will be heard around the world and there will be no survivors. The pilot could not warn the passengers who were oblivious of any trouble. The plane started to ever so slightly nose forward and lose altitude. But I, says the Lord, will blow out the engines and the plane will dive uncontrollably toward the ground. Now the passengers are terrified. Some try to kill themselves before the plane crashes into the ground, but to no avail. As the plane reaches a spiraling, uncontrollable speed, it crashes into the ground. Nothing is left to pick up. All the passengers are dead, and the black box is destroyed, so no one will know what caused the crash. Word and the Lord, and then he gave me the interpretation to the the vision that he just showed me of this plane crash diving. He said the plane that you saw was a big fat jumbo jet that is flying as high as the airframe will allow. The plane is the ec economy of this nation. Even though it seems like it is airworthy. The plane is slowly losing altitude. Then out of the blue, one of the four engines catch fire and explodes. The engines represents the various markets that support the economy. The pilot announced that there is nothing to be concerned with and went back to flying the plane. Then a second engine, then a third and a fourth engine blew out and catch fire. Okay, so in this vision, God showed him a jet plane, a jumbo jet, with four engines. And literally, uh, what God is telling him is he says, he says, the plane is the economy of this nation. Even though it seems like it is airworthy, the plane is slowly losing altitude. Then, out of the blue, one of the four engines catches fire and explodes. The engine, the engines represent the various markets that support the economy, okay? So that is the interpretation he received. He says 2017, 
but he released it on YouTube. Definite YouTube time date stamp of June 2022. Now, I want to read to you an article uh, from, by a, a reporter named Will Daniel uh, from Fortune Magazine, I think it is, but it's uh, posted on Yahoo Finance. So the date, the timestamp of this article is August 27th, 2022. So this is two and a half months after you be ready's word about the crash dive and keep in mind this reporter back then i remember because i found you be ready a lot earlier than most and uh he did not have that many viewers okay he only had a few hundred uh back in june i'm pretty sure so the idea that this reporter a secular reporter would have seen his word and then written this uh is very unlikely but here's the headline. The headline says, uh, the 2022 economy is like a four engine airplane with only one that works. And most experts want to turn it off. Top economist says, uh, let's read a little bit uh, more. It says, federal reserve officials have been playing hardball when it comes to inflation this year, arguing that the American economy is overheated, overheated, Notice the engines caught fire in the, in the vision. And interest rate heights are needed to achieve price stability. But one top economist says the Fed's policies are pushing the U.S. towards a potential disaster. Plane crash. He just compared it to a plane with four engines. Um, so in this, William Spriggs, an economist at Howard University, so this isn't just some community college, Howard University is respected, told Fortune that the Fed will drive the U.S. economy into a recession and throw millions out of work if it continues aggressively raising interest rates. All right, here is though, the, the key part is not so much his analysis, but his description. He says, Spriggs' argument revolves around the idea that the U.S. economy has four main economic engines, personal consumption, fiscal spending, investment, and global economic growth. And three of them are already out of gas. Okay, this is the explanation. Then he has a quote, it says, we're in an airplane, we've got four engines and three of them are off. And the Fed is saying that one remaining engine, personal consumption is doing too much. He said, it's like, okay, but it's the only engine. And if I'm in the airplane and you tell me we're down to one engine, and then you tell me we're going to turn it off, it's like, wait, no. So regardless of uh, the analysis, the point is that you be ready, didn't know this guy's theory, guaranteed. And he didn't know this guy was going to publish this article two and a half months later. And this guy didn't read this professor at Howard University who was developing his theory. He's explaining that the American economy is like a four engine airplane. Uh, he's not seeing UB Ready's channel. This is uh, further confirmation that UB Ready is hearing from God. And uh, one of the many reasons I've already laid out as to why I trust and, and uh, am looking at his messages with. Uh, and even studying them to try to understand more. But what we don't know is exactly when is this economy going to crash. Remember in Matthew 24, Jesus said, do not be troubled. These things must come to pass. So these things must come to pass. So we're not to be fearful and troubled about it, but we do want to prepare. Okay. And God warns us about these things for a reason. Like if he's warning us through you be ready and many, many, many others have seen the financial collapse. Dana Coverstone saw it in his uh, plumb line dream uh, and others. And uh, many others have seen the financial collapse. I've got a video uh, on this channel. Uh, I believe I've combined it with, uh, look for a video on my channel uh, that has a black screen as the image holder. And I believe it says the, it's the third seal. It should say third seal, the black horseman uh, in America. And I've got uh, clips in there from people who've dreamt about the financial collapse uh, and food shortages and things like that. Um, regardless, many, many people have seen it. 
but God is warning us for a reason so you can prepare. If he's telling us this is coming, then it's to give us advance notice so we can prepare and take action. And what action should you be taking? Well, uh, in you be ready, well, let's go ahead and read a little, you know, listen to the same message. What does Jesus tell us we need to be doing to get ready? Okay, so he says, no one is praying for repentance. Instead, everybody's out just spending money on things we don't need. He says, if they heard my voice, they would be getting their houses in order, seeking me in prayer and preparing for what is coming upon the world. So three things he's saying, if they heard my voice, they would be seeking him in prayer, preparing for what is coming upon the world and getting their houses in order. So seeking him in prayer, you can do that. Preparing for what is coming upon the world. I think that is referring to physical preparation. So sure, take some action, have some cash outside the bank, get out of the stock market. You know, if you're any funds in the stock market, pull them out, even if you got a 401k or whatnot. Uh, you don't have to have it in the stock market. You can divest, divest it, you know, pull it, say, I tell your uh, whatever company or broker is managing your 401k or IRA that you want to take it, the funds out of investments in the market and just hold it, just have it sitting in the account so they're protected. Um, not that we believe the dollar is going to last very long. You can buy gold and silver. You can buy land. You can, uh, although it's getting a little late for some of these things. Regardless, there are some things you can do uh, to prepare. We're just running out of time for those things. The question is right now, whatever action you can take, if you have faith and believe this word is from God, you act. If you do nothing, it means you didn't believe. Okay? It's that simple. True belief causes action. Now, when he says get his ha your house in order, that's the big one, okay? Here's what he says in another message that we'll talk about another time uh, called Persecution from 2018. He says, um, I have been warning my people to get your house in order. I did not mean your abode. I mean your body by praying and reading my word, by walking in faith, believing that I am in you in all things by making time to get alone with me and listen for my voice in the quiet time. These are the things I meant when I said, get your houses in order. My son, my people should be walking in and seeking repentance daily. What all men sin daily and to keep the house clean, you must seek forgiveness and repent. I am coming soon for my bride. She will not have spots or wrinkles. Right now, my bride is a filthy dressed in gold and silver and purple and smelling perfumes. But I say my bride will be made clean and white by persecution. This nation is one of the last nations where persecution has not been. Okay, so um, that's another message we can talk about another time. But God is saying to get your house in order, you need to be in daily prayer listening for his voice, learning to hear his voice, having faith that you can hear him, okay? And learning to hear that quiet voice in your quiet time. Because during hard times, that's how he's going to guide you. That's going, how he's going to tell you what to do and where to go is through the Holy Spirit whispering to you in prayer. He also says to get in his word and walk in faith. His word is very important. Um, because if you don't know his word, you'll be deceived by all the deception floating around in this country and the world. And you also uh, won't be able to discern voices that aren't his. But if you're grounded in his word, if you have a strong foundation in his word, then you can't be confused and you can't be deceived. It's really that simple. So what have you been neglecting? Prayer, the word, obedience, faith, daily confession of sins. These are all things he's telling, he's reminding us we have to do all the time. So whichever one or multiple of those that you have been struggling with, today is a new day. Let's make a decision to pursue him well in all those ways to get your house 
fully in order. Now is the time.